Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing Platyborg in the one minute pool on ICC. This is the first game of the session. This is a non-scheduled programming bullet session. <laughs> Just for fun. I wanted to record some stuff, so let's go, Platyborg. It's been a while since we played. I'm gonna play Bishop G5 and just try to mess with their development a little bit. This is a very good South American player. Is he from Argentina? Not according to that flag. I thought he was, though. Uh, okay, so let's try to get something going on the queen side. I'm going to play b4, b5. This is a player that will probably be a GM. I think they're young and improving quite rapidly, so I would not be at all surprised to see them become a grandmaster in the coming years. So let's do this, and I want to get through on the queen side, but it's not easy. Uh, let's play c5, just close it down. And maybe come over here, go knight f1 to protect this pawn. Rook b7 is coming, uh, but see if I can triple up maybe. Hmm. All right, let's come here. I know that we're potentially not allowing a triple up. All right, I guess I'll take and then play rook b7. Ah, uh, but they're really crashing through pretty quick, aren't they? Nah, but there's some undefended pieces here. If they take, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, i got to bring this rook back, I think, to guard d4. Otherwise, that wasn't looking good. Uh, can two play at that game? I, I'll try. <laughs> I'm having to sack Time in. warning. Let's see. Maybe I can do this. Uh, check. Take, take, take. That doesn't work. i got to come here. Yeah, they're just keeping their, their two pawns in the middle. I'm going to sack and see what we can do, but this is not looking good. Oh, they can take d3 and then bishop c4. Check. And I'm way down on time, too. I don't think Check. this is going to work out too well. Check. Mm, am I getting mated somehow? Check. At least not yet. <laughs> Quite possible Check. I will, though, soon. All right, I'm just going to resign. That game is far gone. All right, Platy Borg. What flag is that? That's just going to bug me. Rwanda. I don't think he's from Rwanda, so yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's proceed under the assumption that he's a South American player. Okay, so let's force that back, and then we'll go here and really try to mess with their position. I want to get at that pawn on e3 now. This looks quite dangerous for them, so we take, and let's bring this back. I guess they're going to castle queenside is their contention. Okay, so let's do this, and then maybe give a check. check. And then we'll play f6, just to guard against um, the bishop takes g7 threat. Uh, let's take... And we'll come here. I'm going to try to castle queenside. They have certain weaknesses on uh, the queenside, but they are okay with a trade. Interesting. Hmm. G7 is always under attack. Let's go here. I'm going to try to get some counterplay against their back rank, but we'll see how that turns out. Uh, let's go here. Hmm. Want to go c5, c4, perhaps. Time but it's going to be tough. Uh, blundered bishop f5. And he does not miss that. Okay. Wow, Platyborg. You're good, man. <laughs> You've gotten even better since I last played you in bullet. Any CF in schools is next. I should have played a hyper bullet arena before I played this tournament, before I played this pool. I knew it. <laughs> so we have an exchange QGD against any CF in schools. And he's taking a lot of time right now for some reason. Yeah, Platy Borg is Alan Pichot in IM, I believe. Okay, who's lagging, me or him? He is lagging. And ECF is not responding. So it looks like this will be an auto win for me unless he pulls out a victory with 20 seconds. I'll take those rating points. <laughs> Not the greatest way to win rating points. I'd prefer to win it uh, on the board, but it's the pool. When you enter the pool, it's it's no mercy. The games automatically start. You got to be ready, and you got to have good internet connection. All right, so let's get in the pool immediately. I can't even enter the pool because the game's not over yet. I think they give you like a grace period where even though your clock is going to the negative, if you like reconnect somehow, it gives you some time. And it's the, I think it's consistent across all the time controls. So even though this is a one minute game and he has far less than a minute now, 
it still gives him this grace period, whatever it may be. Well, it's 10.30 p.m., and I'm drinking coffee, and the ICC action is hot and heavy. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be a little bit dead right now because a lot of the European players are asleep, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I have no idea how long this is going to last. I apologize. It's interrupting the flow of the play in the video, but you can always fast forward if you like. All right, finally we get the, the win. S2359 is the next opponent. Let's go C5 and take here. We're going to play an exchange. Let's play E6. And then Bishop D6. Look to swap those bishops. Okay, I'll take. And then I will castle. And then go here. Oh, they're playing directly for an attack. Uh, I think that's bad, though, because I can just take, right? I was wondering why G5 was looking so threatening, but in fact, I can just take. So it's not that threatening. Let's see if they castle queenside. They might. Hmm. Let's go here. Yeah, that's probably not a good move by me. I just don't have a follow-up. All right, I guess I'm going back. <laughs> I just wasn't sure what to play there. If rook h4, I'll have to play f5. Let's do f5 anyways. And then let's take, and we're attacking f3. Bad decision by white on that last move. They messed up there. Now d4 is under attack, and so is f3. 95. I think I should be able to outright refute that almost. I'm going to play it safe and just bank the two pawns, though. And then let's check. give a check and then play the knight to d4. Check. Go take that piece. Go here. Let's play this. And I think I can do this. And then pin. Time They're warning. escaping a little bit, though. The time is going to be a big factor, isn't it? I want to go e5. That's my plan right now. Mm, let's do this. Check. Go take on h1. And then we're going to come here. And check. give a check and then come over here. Check. Let's check here and then go take that pawn. Anything to check. win time. Check. It's going to be a mouse moving battle. Unfortunately, I'm pretty slow. As you can see, check, I'll promote. Check. Oh, I barely won on time. Okay, seventy moves. That player is very fast. <laughs> you can tell that's where they get a lot of their rating points. I'm quite sure. Not that they're a bad player, but their speed probably makes up for uh, a lot of the disadvantages they're going to be against playing good opposition. I think they're going to be just down a pawn here because it doesn't look like. They have a good way to get it back on b5. And I think I'm ready to play this move and open up this diagonal leading towards their knight. And this position is excellent for me. I can plant the knight on c6 next too. They might want to part with their bishop due to that, but that also looks terrible. So let's just do this. And then we'll take this way. So now I've got two connected past pawns. And I was threatening some stuff around there. Okay, let's take this guy. Threatening the, the knight. And if knight e6, I can take b8. How about that? So it looks to me like I'm just crashing through right now. We'll go here. Yeah, and then we're winning the knight. So he just resigns. All right, so we're back on track with a couple of victories. So let's do this exchange line again. Hmm, bishop g5. That's interesting. Uh, let's play e6, I guess. And then we'll play f5. Bishop d7. Play the rook to c8. I'll put this bishop on d6. And then we'll castle. And they're going to go for some trades. All right. I can play f6. I probably should at some point. But I'm going to wait for a minute, a minute on that. A minute. <laughs> I'm going to wait for a minute to play that. And we'll offer a queen trade. Mm, let's take this way. And then I'm going to go here. Because they can't capture. So that's good. Uh, don't we have this move? I guess they have that reply. Annoying. Okay, now they have a well-positioned knight. Hmm. Let's come here. Offer a trade on this square. Thing is, they're going to have probably a long-term advantage now. Yeah, this is no good for me. I'm going to try to sack a pawn and see if we can draw up some play. 
Check. He's going to go for the trade. Mm, at least we can try to trap the knight, but a4 is possible. Let's attempt to break up these pawns. I guess. Yeah, objectively, this is just losing, though. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do much in this position. Nothing to be done. Yeah, and he gets an outside pass pawn. Come here. Just kind of biding time until I have to resign. Yeah, this is over. Okay. Good game by S2359. Got me back in that one. You know, yeah, 2243 is the next opponent. And they play a line with C5. Jinji Indian? Nope. No Jinji Indian. Okay, let's do this. This is exactly like that previous game. Let's take on Passant. We'll mix it up. And then I'm going to go after this pawn on D6 and just see how they react to that. That's an interesting reply. You know what? I'm not going to trade on E5. Even though that would have got the queens off the board, I think this is a better way of playing. Yeah, they're going to play to blockade, basically, on the dark squares. So stick the bishop on e5, probably knight d4 coming soon as well. I'm going to try to attack this pawn on d6, but maybe bishop h6 now to bug them. Okay, take. Potentially h4, try to attack. Let's go here, and I mean, their queen is a long ways away from the rest of their pieces. So this could create some issues. Let's play rook d2, just guard the b2 pawn. I want to go knight d5, if allowed. So let's do this. And if they take, now I wonder how they're going to defend this pawn. So let's go here and chase that knight away. If the knight moves, bishop back to b1, and we're going to try to win d4. Hmm. Okay, let's come here first. I want to make sure that after I take that pawn and they play rook e2, that I can block with my rook on d2. So let's do this. I'll take that. Okay, so now we're in a rook ending up a pawn. Let's come here, maybe rook b3. Time warning. Uh, yeah, I kind of misplayed this one a little bit. And they can give a check and then go after... Ooh, okay, they're bringing their king up. Yeah, I definitely misplayed this. No question. Let's come here. Let's come here. This might be a draw though, huh? Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. I think this is a draw actually. I'll offer it to them. Yeah, it's a draw, kind of a positional draw. Um, I think rook b3 was mistimed. I should have played something like rook c3 first maybe, because after rook c7, I guess I could still backtrack and play rook c3 to defend the pawn. But um, I was having a hard time defending right there. Okay, let's take and then play knight c6. And maybe queen b6 to go after the b2 pawn. He's got some weaknesses. This player plays like simplicity openings. They don't really play for an advantage per se. They just play to um, play fast. <laughs> That's about it. So I want to kick this knight away. So let's do that and then play queen a5 and maybe attack a2 to some extent. We'll go here. I think getting in knight a5, again, attacking this is helpful. Um, I'm going to go here. They can potentially play knight d3 and attack my queen. Uh, take doesn't work. Let's go bishop here. I think I need to improve that piece a little bit. b4, I'll jump in here. Let's take that. They take the queen, I have knight d2. So forking. And that's going to win material. <clears throat> Let's invade. So work our major pieces down the file. Let's give a check, check and just trade. Check. Maybe pawn d5 in the future? The very near future? Yeah, we'll do that to pin. We'll go h5. Hard for white to find a break here. Time warning. Hmm. They're actually going to sack. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. So I'm attacking f2. And also we get to hold that pawn. That's crucial. With the time, though, what's, what's this going to look like? 
Okay, I'm gonna keep the queens on the board for now. Check. Check. Let's see how this turns out. Check. Let's see which one they want to take. Okay. Check. So now we're gonna win that. All right, we win that game. All right, so against that player, I gotta, I gotta be on a, on my game when push comes to shove right towards the end. Because as you can see, they have a uh, nice mouse. <laughs> They've got some skill to go with it too. So who's up next? I'm at 2479, not bad. I wonder if Platyborg is still in. Platyborg is in. It says they're playing Pikachu. All right, so both those players are in the pool. Let's go D4 and this one against Pikachu. I remember I played Pikachu in this exchange Kings Indian line a couple times and they haven't really known what to do. So let's see if we can get this same line against them. Yeah, it's this line and then they typically go after a pawn at a certain moment. And I'm wondering if they'll do the same thing here. Uh, look, looks like they improved. I think, let's go a3. Yeah, so the line is take d5, bishop takes, bishop takes, and allowing rook c8. That's what I've got them in in the past. Okay, so they're playing it better this time. So let's go check. check. Actually, I think this is the exact position we've had before. <laughs> it's funny how history repeats itself. And then take here. I gotta be careful still, though. Um, rook c7. Nah, rook c7 is no good. What do I want to do? Knight f6 is not possible. Knight c3? Eh, I'll go knight d2. But they might be able to just grab on b4. Yeah, I think I messed it up. I think I messed up the move order. I definitely did. Hmm. Let's go here and threaten mate in the corner. Ooh, and he did not Check see it. Mate. All right, so I got the mate, luckily. But yeah, I think uh, I I was the one who erred there. Let's hit Pikachu with the queen d8 Scandy. No, he's afraid of the, the capture line, so he's going to push the pawn past. All right, I've done this before. Let's take. This is a really good position already for me. I can put the knight on f5 and maybe start attacking. Let's go here and attack f3. Why not? Uh, let's go after that pawn in the center. See if we can bring our piece back and attack it. How does he defend it already? Maybe he has to sack on g6. If bishop takes, I take with the knight and I'm hitting the queen, so that doesn't work for him. Otherwise, I'm just going bishop takes e5 next move. So we're up two pawns now. Free of charge. Let's keep our king in the center for the moment. And just see how he develops. Um... All right, let's go after another pawn. I know this looks incredibly greedy. You know what? I'm going to castle. I know they can take on f4, but I just don't quite believe it, specifically because of this move with the pin on their queen. They take the rook on g6. I just take. Um, I think I can just take here. Just push this pawn, maybe. Looks all right. Take that. Check. Time. He's down too much material now. Check. And we're just pushing the pawn to the promised land. I have 18 seconds to his 13. That's all right. Yeah, and he resigned. Okay, so chalk one up for the Scandi. You don't see too many players who play e5 on move two. Like every once in a while, you encounter that move. But in this position, c5 and bishop f5 are good responses. Basically, you can get kind of an improved. Uh, Caro Khan or French, maybe more accurately. Yeah, and improve French because you're going to play the bishop outside the chain and then you're going to play pawn e6 in exactly that order. All right, so any CF we get again. And let's play a queen c2 line, play this kind of variation. So it looks like his connection is better this time around. Let's go rook d1, e3, brought the, bring the queen back to e2 most likely. This is a little bit of a slower line, but. I like playing it. Let's go here. Then we'll play probably a knight e1 move to try to swap the, the bishop. Let's go here and attack the queen. And d5 isn't playable. Eh, I might have messed this up a little bit. I'm going to come here. I don't like that pressure they have against my c4 pawn. 
I'm not feeling that. Okay, let's take... They take with a rook, I have bishop b4 at least. So they took that way instead. Hmm. Stop being annoying, NECF. <laughs> Stop playing good moves. Um, okay, let's take... I'm kind of running out of ideas here. Check. Queen b5 is possible. All right, let's hide. Now knight e5 is going to hurt us at some point. I'm trying to come into f3. Let's gain some space. Yeah, I'm just pretty much down a pawn right now for no compensation. Time warning. All right, let's see if we can swap here. He can take on e3, can't he? Oh, well, let's see. Check. Let's do this and see how this turns out. Check. And he's going to run that pawn. With that very annoying pawn. All right, I'm going to come here. All right, we're getting this. Check. Check. <laughs> Stalemate? Nope. Check. I'm going to get flagged, though. Check. Check. Definitely getting flagged. Okay. <laughs> well, considering that he timed out in the other game, we'll give it to him. <laughs> All right, NECF 2535. He's got a pretty high rating. I've actually done pretty well against NECF in the games that I played against him uh, in my videos. I would say on the whole, I probably have a positive score, but that's just a pure guess. Uh, E6, I think, is what I want to do here, and then take here. Yeah, this line. This line's tricky. You got to know what you're doing in this line. And I think I just blundered, because I'm going to lose my rook in the corner. Yeah, I definitely Check. blundered that. Uh, okay, king back here. Please don't kill me too fast. I can't even castle, that's the bad thing. I can't castle out of danger. Let's go here and try to open up towards his king. Bishop takes c4 would be a good reply, though. Um, <laughs> help? <laughs> uh, can't do that. There's so many good moves for him to come. Okay, I'm gonna go here and then play knight b6, I guess, on the next move. Guard e6 somehow, but... Check. I messed up the move order for sure. All right, take that. Check. Oh, and he just wins the queen. Where did I go wrong? Bishop b7 is just wrong. I think I have to play bishop b7. Yeah, and guard against queen f3. Whoops. Hmm. K. Gior Georgiev is the next opponent. Okay, Kirill Georgiev. And we're going to play a Grunfeld. Looks like one of the main lines. I don't know this stuff, but we'll see how it turns out. Hmm, let's play queen d3. Just kind of guard the center. a3, stop knight b4. Castle. Looks like he maybe perhaps doesn't know this either. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Am I almost trapping his queen? Here, and how does that queen... Oh, it can escape that way. Okay, well, we'll go here. Attacking his queen, discovered attack. Mm, let's go here and attack f7. I know d4 is hanging, but let's go e5. g4 almost traps his queen. Let's go here. Now g4 is on the agenda. And I think that will be a queen trap after queen h6, knight takes f7. He sacks the queen. Real high quality chess played by all of us late night here. <laughs> He offered a draw, that's funny. Okay, let's go h3. I want to go f4. And try to smash him. f4, f5. He offers another draw. <laughs> Classic. Alright, let's take that. I'm going to try to get in down the f-file. Time more. Rook f7, here it comes. Check. Oh, that's, a, that's an immediate Check. sacrifice. An auto-sacrifice. If rook c7, I have queen f8. So, meanwhile, the threat is queen g7. All right, we got NECF again. Let's go knight f6 this time and see what he does against this line. I think when you're playing these guys, you got to, especially the aggressive ones, you got to be willing to um, attempt to, like, out-aggressive them if need be. Okay, let's play a6 and just stop any knight b5 business. This looks like some crazy gambit line I'm not aware of. Uh, e6, okay. Probably just play bishop e7 next move. They're going to regain their pawn, unless I play bishop to b7, which might be possible. Yeah, let's do that. I have to be wary of sacrifices here. 
but I'm hoping I'm hoping that this isn't that big of a deal. Okay, you can have my rook in the corner. That's fine. I'll let you have that. Just come here. Rook into d6. Nope. Okay, let's do this. He's going to maneuver his knight. Let's play g5 just to stop any business. Funny business. Check. We'll attack that knight. Bring our king up. Let's work these endgame skills. This is my wheelhouse, man. Let's go here. Maybe e3. He has knight f3, I suppose. Uh, let's take that. Check. Let's come here. Bishop to g4 is the threat. Uh, let's not do that. Mm, he has knight c5, doesn't he? Ooh, now I win this piece, though. Check. Check. Sorry, John. Just take, no, let's not take there. Let's go after Check. some of his stuff. Run the H pawn. Check. Threatening mate on C2. Check, we got it. All right, that was a pretty good one, I think. We faded some of his attacks. All right, Pikachu again. He's probably going to play another King's Indian. I'm going to go to the Samish this time. I have to admit that the exchange variation didn't do much to uh, crush his hopes and dreams in the last encounter. But I can play this opening pretty fast because I know it well. Let's go bishop g5 and maybe pull the bishop back, and I'm thinking I can win a tempo by doing this. Let's attack him. Let's go for the attack. Why not? h5 maybe followed by f4. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Okay, actually, let's go knight f5. Let's see if we can get that light square bishop of his. That would be a nice prize, I believe. Um, okay, now I'm, I'm just going to castle now. He's kind of barricaded himself in, and I'm content with what I've gained. So let's just do this. Oh, I missed that he can do that. Okay, now i got to come in here. Hmm, let's play f4. He's pretty weak on the dark squares, so maybe we can make something happen on that color complex. Did I say dark squares? I meant light Check. squares. He's weak on the light squares. As evidenced by this. Mm, I could just take here, though. Or I could have taken bishop takes f5, but I think this is even pretty good. Just queen d3 is the threat now. And what does he do about that? Mate on h7. Oh, he has knight g5. Duh. <laughs> I should have seen that. Mm, he's defending resourcefully. Time. All right, got to come in with the queen. Got to attack. Uh, let's play b6 and try to confuse him. It's not working. But I'm trying. All right, now I'm going to try to keep this. Let's go here. Still trying desperately to get something going. Really don't know what to do right now. Check. Oh, knight f3. Check. It's going to crush me. Check me. Oh, that game was mine for the taking. <laughs> I totally blew that game. <laughs> that was bad. First of all, I thought it was easy peasy with um, bishop takes f5 on uh, the second move, as opposed to bishop takes f5 check, which would have won the rook on b7. Queen takes f5, rook takes b7. And then I missed knight g5. I think just the patient bishop takes f4 would have taken care of business. He might have something, but as long as we guard against the knight coming to g5, we're going to win that game. And then he found all these good defensive moves. Here, maybe I should have taken with the queen. I don't know. Well, you win some, you lose some in the one-minute pool. I'm playing NECF again. Let's see what we can cook up for him this time. Let's do like this this setup where you go queen c2 and then g4. Um, I just have this feeling he doesn't like this setup, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's go h3, and we're going to play for g4, and he's going to attack us on that way. Okay, I'm going to take that pawn, I guess. Let's go here. Mm, let's play g4 now. And then we'll go for g5. He might play d4 soon, though, to kind of harass us. Let's play d4 for that reason. Mm, let's get out of the way. Queen e2. a4, maybe? a5? a6? Take that. Let's take here. No, I don't like how I did that. I'm losing a piece now. Eh, that was not good. Queen b6. 
Yeah, not good at all. Okay. Let's come back here to defend. Yeah, this is poor play by me. I'm going to try to offer some material back in an effort to simplify, but this is losing. Time warning. Now you can just take on. Okay, you could have taken the other way too, but let's do this. Mm, maybe I can sneak in rook d8. We'll see. Oh, he's just going to give that up. Okay. Simplicity's sake. Check. Oh, this is a nightmare to play against the two knights. I'll make it stop. I'm, I slipped there, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play a couple more games. Get NECF again. Let's see what he's got against the Scandi. What does he have in mind against this opening? Get a queen d8 Scandi anyways. Okay, we'll play c6. Hmm, a very early knight e5. Actually, under those circumstances, that was a good idea. Let's play b5 and try to get this bishop out of the way. Out of the mix. Let's play here. Maybe b4 idea is coming up. I'm doing okay in defense. Could be better. Let's just see if we can swap that off. You can take c6 though, can't he? But I have bishop b7. Let's do that. Hmm. Take Check. here. Take there. I think I might merge extra up a piece out of this because I'm attacking his knight. It's important. Looks like I will be merging up a piece. This guy's so good, though. He really is strong. Any CF. Now I'm threatening here and this move, forking. That's a nice move to get in. Let's take there, and then we're going to get C3. So he resigned. All right, let's do one more game, and then we're going to call it a session. This has been a good one, competition-wise. Many strong players in the mix. I'm at 2490. One more win against a 2,500-plus player or around there, and we're going to push it over 2,500. So one more game. Lost those two games against Platyborg. I'd, I'd like to get another shot at him. Let Ranger is going to be the last opponent, and he's playing a very bizarre opening. Okay. We'll see how that pawn on f3 fares. I'm going to go h5, h4. And h3. <laughs> Why not? Let's just do the whole thing. Um, he could actually could have taken on h3 there, but he didn't. So he can take on h3 now, but this looks kind of annoying. I guess I'll play that way. Is he going to sack on the other wing? Nope. Okay, I'm thinking maybe try to get the knight into g6 eventually. So that's what I'm going to do. His development is so bad. Um, I'm really shocked he castled that way, by the way. Let's do this and see if he wants to take. Maybe it'll be hard for me to get through, though. Check. He trades that very good knight. But knight e4, he's got a replacement at the ready. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to get through. Now he has maybe a free hand on the other wing. Rook takes h3. I probably have to gamble on that, huh? Let's take. Okay, I'm going to take here first before I gamble on rook takes h3 soon. Mm, nasty move right there. Knight d6 being the threat. Oh, he dropped his queen. Hello. You can take f7. Um, let's just go here. Just save our bishop. But I'm going to go rook Time takes h3 morning. next. And I think this will be a checkmate. Let me do this check. one. Because now I got rook h1 coming next. Check. Check. And I see checkmate in a couple. Checkmate. All right, so we benefited from a queen hang by our opponent in the last game. Let's tally the results here. How many games did we play? It looks like we played 18 games. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wins and 1 draw and 7 losses. Let me just count the losses to be sure. One, wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe gained a couple rating points. Yeah, gained some rating points. And how did we do? So we lost those two games to Platy Borg. With any CF, I think we probably split. Yeah, we split. Three to three. Good stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just checking out the best list. I'm on the best list. 
quite a few familiar names on that list. And I'll be back again very soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.